Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your second week of May. Uh, usually love readings are what I do for weekly, so it's, I'm going to call it a love reading. This is for the sign of Leo, May 7th through the 15th. We are going to get one of these and one of these. If it happens to flip out while I'm shuffling, you'll get to see it now, otherwise we will reveal it at the end. If you're looking for a quick reading and you have Inst uh, Apple iPhone, you can go to my Instaco app. The link is right below. If you'd like a private reading, if you don't have that, the information is below as well. This is for the sign of Leo. What does Leo need to know for this second week of May? Leo, sign of Leo. Way too many. Oh, ho, ho. well, it looks like you get to see one now. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Now, I want to make this clear to you. A lot of people want this to be an ex. You know, that's, that's the truth here. They, oh, it's an ex. Someone from your past returning to your life could be a friend. Doesn't have to be the same sex, can be the same sex. Somebody from your past could be a parent, you know, that you've been estranged from. It could be somebody from a past life, okay, that you don't even really know in this lifetime, but you feel familiar with them. It could be somebody that you went to school with. Someone from your past is returning to your life. It doesn't mean it's somebody that you've slept with. I just want to make that clear. This is for the sign of Leo. What does Leo need to know? Let me just put this on pause or mute. There we go. Leo. Oh, the page of pentacles reverse. You could be dealing with somebody who has a wandering eye, somebody that doesn't have morals, okay? I mean, that's what the card means. You could be dealing with somebody who doesn't want to give. They're lazy. They don't want to work on it. It could be you. I don't know. Somebody isn't doing the right thing. The Page of Pentacles is about integrity. It's reversed. Somebody is not doing the right thing, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. Okay? Somebody has become lazy and complacent, and they've lost sight of their true goal. And that is what's going on. Oh, the moon card, mysteries, fear, lies, secrets. Hmm. Be careful, okay? Be really careful at this time because something isn't as it seems. That's what happens when the moon card comes out. Somebody could be pulling the wool over your eyes and you don't even see it. I mean, that could be the case. An empress. The empress reversed. Reversed. Lack of self-love. Lack of self-confidence, lack of self-worth. Somebody isn't seeing how worthy they are. Or they may be feeling like they are down in the dumps. They don't know what to do. They're not following their heart. Somebody's not. Um, there's a feeling of selfishness here when they, we get the Empress reversed. Whether that's you or the other person. Somebody is being selfish and smothering. Okay. Blocking communication, silent treatment, uh, the Eight of Wands reversed, not communicating. There is some secrets and lies here, and somebody doesn't want to communicate about it. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to believe it. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to see it. That's, I mean, 
Mm -mm. <coughs> There's no growth. There's no growth here. But somebody doesn't want to accept it. They'd rather escape the reality because that's what the moon card is. It's The moon is about escaping reality. So yeah, I mean, hey, you have the ability, right? Somebody has the ability to escape the reality of this situation by silent treatment, <coughs> not communicating. You know, when you have the resource to, to shed this, you have to be willing to. When you get the magician card, you have the power, and you do. This is on the strength card as well, which is ruled by you. You have the power and the resources within you to manifest whatever you want, to bring action and success to your life. You do, but <coughs> you have to be willing. Okay, that's the main power. The main power of all within each of us is, is willingness. Okay? So the magician card is about being willing, willing to bring success, being willing to follow your passions, being willing to make decisions, okay? Being willing to act with integrity and to not escape from reality, okay? So somebody really has to find the power within them to do the right thing in which they haven't been doing. They've been escaping because that is what the moon card is. Oh, the sun card reversed. Okay, so this is represented by Leo. There's a there's a feeling of unhappiness, sadness, negativity, maybe even neglect here. A lot of sadness. Um, somebody has to make a heart versus mind decision, and they're not they're not doing it. They're not making the right thing. They're wanting to escape, and it's causing them a lot of sadness. And oh gosh, they're clinging. Clinging. Somebody is clinging to a love. They're clinging to something that's over. Oh my gosh. Clinging to the past. Clinging to the memories. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry to hear that. You know, when you have the ability to be prosperous and abundant, you do, but you have to take action. You have to take action to bring prosperity and security and stability to your life. You do. You have the skills within you to be successful and to be abundant, but you have to take the action to do that. You can't escape because if you live in a, uh, escapism, you certainly aren't going to get this. Oh, the nine of pentacles. This is about independence. Somebody is trying to make a decision whether they want to be independent or not because this is the nine of pentacles. Here we have somebody who's clinging to the past. You know, when they really should be working on their own independence at this time, they should be working on their self-worth and their self-esteem and their gratitude, and they should be grateful for all that they have right now. They should really be seeing all that they have right now instead of focusing on this hurt, um, the lies, and the secrets. Really take a look around. Take a look around right now. Look at all you have. Be grateful for all that you have and what you've learned in this lifetime. That's, that's true abundance. That's true prosperity. When you can realize all that you have right now and be grateful for that. Don't let this negative time, whatever this is, there's a feeling of unhappiness and secrets and lies, hold you back. Well, you have the skills within you to succeed. You have the power to be abundant again. You do. So somebody, I think there's somebody that's holding you back. They're smothering you. Um, and you're clinging to it though, you're, or they're clinging to you. Somebody's either clinging to you or you're clinging to them and it, it's not necessary, it's not needed. You're being asked or called to accept a change in which you're refusing to do. And I can see that you are. So I'm, I'm, I'm... yeah, we have Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Gemini, or a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We have Taurus up there. We have Leo in the middle. We have Pisces up there. Any sign, really, okay? It feels as though you are being called to follow your intuition this time. Really follow your intuition and do what's right for you. Can you do that? Can you put yourself first? Can you, can you follow what your heart wants instead of what your mind wants? Because that's what the... Queen of Cups does. She follows her heart. Can you do that? Can you do that? 
What is the right thing to do? Because it's connected to this page of pentacles, which is reversed. Somebody isn't doing the right thing. When they have the resources to succeed, but they've been escaping for some reason. King of Cups reversed. Scorpio, uh, Pisces, and Cancer reversed. Judgment reversed. Somebody is refusing to wake up. You're being offered a wake-up call. But you are. With the Magician and the Ace of Swords, you are being offered an awakening, a wake-up call, a divine connection. It's like the divine is saying, wake up, wake up, wake up, ding, 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 ding. Okay, that's what's happening here with these two cards and this this card right here. The moon card's like, but you're refusing to wake up. I'd rather live in the illusion. Please don't make me. I don't want to wake up. And I say that because the judgment card is a wake-up call as well. It's reversed, and that's why I can tell. And this one as well. No, I will not. I will not wake up. Wake up. I will not. I refuse. I refuse. And therefore, it's causing some resentment. Okay, it is. It's causing somebody to become cold and detached because they're holding back their true feelings when the truth is here. Okay, you're being offered the raw truth. You know the raw truth. But, you know, doing the right thing is a problem. Okay, because somebody's not answering the call with the judgment card. It's karma. It is karma, but this karmic lesson is going to continue to play out until somebody does the right thing and they release. They have to release something. They have to let something go, okay? A wake-up call is wanting, to, needing to be had, but somebody is refusing because in many decks, the judgment card is labeled truth. They're refusing to listen to the truth, to hear the truth, to accept the truth. They're blocking the truth. I don't want blocking the truth and you guys don't have to like my tone you don't have to like my voice this is the way i talk just like everybody else in the world i have my tone i have my voice if you don't like it then please don't watch i'm not going to change my tone to make anybody happy because if i did i'd be fake there's some incompatibility here Somebody is incompatible with another person. The two of cups reversed. There's too much disharmony. There's too much disconnection. Imbalance. Somebody's unhappy. There's been too many arguments. A separation is on the horizon. There's a breakup. Either there has been or there's going to be. And I don't want to hear it. I don't want to believe it. You may be being emotionally blackmailed by another person. And that's why you're refusing to believe it. Whatever's going on here is very controlling and manipulative. And it's time for you to take back control of your life. It's time for you to take the lead and be your own boss. It's time to bring the structure and the organization back to your life. Look at this as a time of gaining wisdom. You learned from this karmic situation. You've gained a lot of wisdom. I, I see the truth. I hear the truth. Part of this lesson is about doing the right thing because the very first card that came out was the Page of Pentacles reversed and somebody isn't doing the right thing. They're refusing to and there's a lot of I don't want to accept the truth here and you guys don't have to like me for telling you that. You don't have to but that's what I see. I would love the, for this reading to change but you have to accept the truth for it to change. Uh, no, this no. This is painful truth. The Two of Swords is painful truth. That is the damn truth. I'm telling you right now. Okay? I know you guys don't want to hear this. I do. I do. I understand that. And I don't want to give you this message. I really don't. Somebody is refusing to accept the truth of a situation. They're delaying it. They're postponing it. They see the truth, but they're avoiding it. And in turn, it's causing anxiety and resentment. It's, and you know what anxiety and resentment does? It causes stress. And do you know what stress does? Stress kills. Somebody needs to wake up. And you, I don't have to tell you what this truth is. Because while I'm talking, every single one of you that is watching this that resonates knows what I'm talking about. And some of you will still deny it. 
And that's okay. I, I, it's nothing to me if you do or don't. Most of you watching this know what it is. You know where you're not, you're refusing to move on. You know that you're holding on to something that isn't meant for you. You know that you're trying to escape the reality of something. There's, a, there's somebody in this situation that you are not compatible with. There's too many arguments. Now this could, this could even be a parent, like I said with the reconciliation card. This could be anybody. It doesn't have to be a lover. It could be your lover. It could be a partner. You know who this is. The longer you deny this karmic, because judgment is karma, this karmic situation, you will continue to fall apart. You can't block it forever. So my advice for you, Leo, is to follow your heart. Do the right thing. Accept this truth. Communicate your truth. <coughs> Reconciliation from someone from your past is returning to your life. That's what you want, right? Or is it, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Does it? Or, I mean, whatever. That, like I said, this could be a friend. This could be a mother, a father, a sister. And we already went over it. Doesn't have to be a partner. Ooh. Oh, I love this card for you. It's so perfect. Thank you, Lord. That's your card. Remember, all of you that think this is somebody that you slept with. It's not. Could be. But for some reason, I don't think it is. New beginnings. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction and you are refusing with the judgment reversed to answer the call. It's called a judgment call to answer the truth. You're refusing. The universe is going to continue to nudge you forward until you accept the truth. How long are you going to fight it and suffer? Remember, it's nothing to me. It's not. I'm trying to get you guys to follow the universal plan. I don't care what you do. I'll talk to you next week. Hopefully I can get another message. If you guys could, you know, whatever. Talk to you later.